Assalamu alaikum and welcome to another episode of Shared Diversity. If you are new, salam, thank you so much for tuning in. And if you have been here before, thank you so much for coming back. Today, I want to talk about a beautiful, let's say, advice that we often get as sisters or just as women in the world. If you want to build a personal brand and if you have money, show it off. If you want to build a personal brand and you are beautiful, show it off. Show what you have. If you want to create a fitness brand, you have to show your beautiful body. Well, today we're talking about personal branding and creating something of impact while keeping your modesty. So how can you create a brand without actually showing your face? Now, everyone defines modesty differently, but today we only talk about the visual effects of saying, I don't want to show my face as a brand. Now, I want to talk to you about one big thing. It is so possible to create a personal brand, to create something of impact and still keep your modesty. When I started, I decided I didn't want to show my face. I didn't want to tell anyone in my name. I just wanted to bring a message out. So what you need to understand is you need to value the power of your voice. However you want to bring the voice over, it doesn't matter. But the power of your voice is incredibly strong, especially with the media nowadays. So you need to use digital media to bring your personal brand to people. Obviously, you can do speaking engagements and other physical things, but obviously there you're going to show your face or you wear niqab whatever you want to do, but you have to be there physically. So today we only talk about digital content and how you can create content that is impactful without showing your face. First of all, there are different types of content. So you don't need to only show your face, even if you are on a visual platform like Instagram or Pinterest. So what people can do and what you can apply as well is you could create content in forms of quote cards. So you have a visual that shows a quote. Another way of showing your content is drawings. So if you are kind of artistic, you can draw yourself or if you have a friend or if you want to pay someone to translate your content into visual you can pay them to draw another way of showing your content is infographics so you can create real storyboards and takeaways and learnings in visual format without showing your face but you only have the infographic which says for example step one two three or if you say uh, a healthy influencer you show your recipes and there's different types of visuals that you can use free paid you pay someone to do it but it's so, so feasible for a person who doesn't want to pay and who doesn't know how to do graphic design to create visuals like that. Another way of not showing your face, but still having a visual effect to it, is that you might show yourself, but in a way that people don't know who you are. So either you wear niqab or you cut off your face like this from the side, you only show your back or you only show your silhouette in a certain way Say you are a travel blogger or you show people the best halal gems in the world and you want to create travel photographs, you don't need to show your face, you can show yourself in your garment, obviously modestly, from the back or from the side or you cut off your face so people don't know who you are and don't see your face. So this is the way that you can create visual content that is still modest. Another way of doing content, obviously, is by speaking to people. And this is how I started, actually. I was thinking and kind of negotiating with myself. I want to bring my message out, but I don't want to show my face. I don't want people to know who I am. So I started podcasting. Podcasting is one of the biggest things I would personally recommend you if you are saying you don't want to show your face, but you want to still bring your message across. Podcast is a great way to bring your message out. It is booming right now. So people really want to consume the messages on podcasts and it's super flexible. People can be mobile, they can go for a walk, they can commute, they can work out and they still listen to your message. So podcasts are a very, very powerful tool for us Muslim women to be modest, not show our faces, but still bring our message across. The second thing obviously I want to talk to you about is writing. So you have content that is visual, infographics, quotes, uh, pictures where you can't see your face, you have audio, you have podcasting, whatever you want to do. But you can always, always go to writing. Writing is not something that is 
old-fashioned and people don't read blogs anymore but you need to understand that writing is not only blog format it's not only authors writing books it's not only you being an amazing writer and drawing people in with your storytelling skills writing is the basis of a lot of content creation so when people for example create videos like this I write down for example beforehand what is my hook what are my takeaways what do I want people to remember about what I'm saying other people when they create podcasts for example they write out the whole podcast and they just read it other people obviously when you create more cinematic videos writing is the big part of video creation and then when you go on social media and you look at visuals a lot of the people that are successful in building a brand are not the people that only show pictures but they have writing below the pictures that creates context, that creates the actual content that is the message to their audience. So if you want to focus on one thing today, you want to start creating a brand and you want to start creating content and you want to bring your message and your voice out, start focusing on writing. Write every day if you want three pages minimum. It doesn't need to be good. It doesn't need to be amazing writing. And it doesn't even need to be entertaining or interesting. Just write it doesn't have to make sense just start writing and get into the flow of creating content writing is a very very powerful thing that you can create and information is one of the most powerful things you can actually give to people so focus on writing look at the other types of content that you can create and just have fun the only thing i don't want you to do is when you go out here is say there's nothing for me in this it's not good enough for me. I am too shy to share my message. You should never be too shy to share your message. You never know if there's just one person that you can connect to and that you can reach with what you have to say. And you never know if that person actually changes their lives or is positively impacted by what you have to say. So go out and create content. I really hope you're letting yourself do this just for your own sake and for all the skills and knowledge and talents that you've been given on this world. And now I would love to hear from you. What is the content type that you most likely want to create with? Is it images? Is it video? Is it podcasting? Is it text? Is it quotes? Is it infographics? Is it drawings? Whatever it might be, leave it down in the comments and share diversity with us. Another thing I want you to know is we have a Q&A form on the website www.sharediversity.com on share time or you just hashtag share time at share diversity on Twitter or Instagram and you ask your question and everything is going to be anonymous. So if you have a question about branding, business or womanhood, just leave it there and I'll see you next time and answer your question. Until then, Assalamu alaikum.